well we're down by the river bank again it's a beautiful day worth having a little little look in the water maybe a little little bit of doggy fishing I don't think he'll catch anything a few ducks across the the river from us we're thinking about what creation teaches us of God and one of the things that creation teaches us about God is that God is there and while he's there he's also invisible and uh, so what do I mean by that I mean the Bible says that God is there and he's always there but we say well why can't I see him uh, why can't I touch him if I could see him and touch him then I would know and I could say it's obvious and prove that God is there but nature teaches us that there are lots of things that happen that happen that are quite invisible to us let me give you some examples here's a tree behind me it's drawing up water from the roots to the branch tips and to the leaves I can't see it but I know it's happening I can deduce it because of what happens in that tree and where the trees live and thrive by river banks so they obviously need water you can you can start to deduce things like that what's also obvious is that uh, trees are in some ways able to communicate with each other there's some books that have come out recently um, a recent book by a German who spends a lot of time uh, looking at nature and in woods and he's convinced utterly convinced that uh, this that they can communicate with each other somehow and that's why they they don't touch each other very often trees don't generally tend to touch each other you've got to have a look at that you've got to go in among some trees and have a look it's quite amazing and now there's some, some trees are bullies and they break the rules but generally and then there's a, a river like this and uh, in October and November this river especially there'll be salmon coming up this river uh, going up this river from the sea up into the tributaries and into the the gravel beds where they'll lay their eggs and they've traveled uh, many thousands of miles to be here and you wonder how, how on earth do they do they know where they're going uh, it's invisible to us the things that draw them we know that recently the birds have been taking off and flying south and how do they know that there are also uh, obviously invisible things that draw them and that drive them as they live their lives and many people think it's to do with the magnetic fields and so all around us never mind the microscopic things that happen as well there is evidence that there are things happening that we see the effect of but can't actually see every once in a while we break through and we can get a microscope and see the microscopic or something like that well we're told that there is an invisible God but that he made himself visible through his son Jesus Christ and we're told Paul writes this in Colossians about Jesus he is the image of the invisible God the firstborn over all creation for by him all things were created things in heaven and on earth visible and invisible thrones or powers or rulers or authorities all things were created by him and for him and so God is invisible as well but God can also reveal himself he reveals himself in his word in the Bible when he inspires men to write great truth and he reveals himself in his son 2,000 years ago uh, the eternal son of God took upon himself human flesh and lived amongst human beings for a while but we do not see him however that doesn't mean we don't believe in him and there isn't evidence to believe that there is an eternal God and that he is mighty and powerful we accept the invisible things on this earth why should we not accept an invisible God well 
from me and my friend who's still trying to fish I don't think he's caught anything have a good day and God bless you and keep you close his face to shine upon you and give you peace <laughs>